Head into Colorado's high country and you may notice the rivers peaking sooner than what you expect. It's part of our Eye on Earth series tonight. We're going to look at how that could actually impact our water use. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson shares what that could mean for the summer. Rivers rise and fall, but our scientists aren't liking the looks of how soon it's happening in Colorado. But we're about two weeks earlier in some of the earliest runoff that we've seen. Timing is everything for our rivers in Colorado. The worst thing that can happen is that they peak too soon. That creates issues for farmers who suddenly don't have water for the crops they need in the spring. It creates a problem for people who are trying to play out on the river too. If they're trying to get in there when the temperatures are still too cold. There's a lot that goes into when our water peaks, but snow melt has a lot to do with it. And there's more dust and wind causing our snow to melt faster in the past few years. It's concerning and it is indicative of a changing system. As we warm and as we get less snowpack, it comes off earlier. It's harder to control, it's harder to use. The growing season typically begins, you know, 1st of April. If the, the water's coming before then, we can't use it to the greatest extent. In a perfect world, we would have peak timing consistency, but Colorado is now having to adapt to a changing climate. Unfortunately, the trend is lower snowpacks, earlier runoff, and shorter accumulation season. So what can we do? DK suggests taking responsibility for the water we use and where it comes from. What you do matters. You can really uh, make a positive difference. You should really care because this is our future.